Hey guys, it's Hafiz and uh, today I'm going to show you guys a problem with the truck. As you can see that uh, I have uh, the, the parking brake and the brake buzzer on, but my air pressure is at 100 degrees, 100 uh, uh, PSI. So in this situation, uh, my ear is uh, at 100 but I still hear the buzzer so I also hear the air leak from the uh, the dashboard or under the dashboard uh, on the driving side and uh, the problem I'm gonna show you why is uh, uh, the buzzer is on and I'm also losing ear I hear the air leak I'm gonna show you the problem and we're gonna fix it I hear the air leak behind the steering wheel and uh, I have to open this panel to check the leak. So when you remove the panel you will see air sensors right behind it. They have all the tags on it, what is that for and uh, right now I'm observing all of them and only one of them is bad and I can hear the air leak from there and uh, you have the sign that low air tank uh, sensor or the brake sensor. So I'm putting this piece of paper just to show you guys that uh, there's an air leak. So remove these two wires and don't worry about how to put it back on because you can put it either way and uh, now uh, the air pressure is actually increased as soon as I remove the wires now you can see that clearly that uh, where the leak is. To remove this sensor I'm using this socket 11 over 16 and uh, this is the best fit for this sensor. So there is two different kind of sensors and different sizes. Uh, it's better to have it uh, with you in the truck just in case of emergency. It's only like $15 a piece. You just need to make it a hand tight and be very gentle with the edges because you don't want to damage the threads and the electric uh, terminals and you can put the, the wires back on and start the truck. So as you can see the the brake light is off as soon as I hit the 60 PSI so that's how it's supposed to be so if you ever hear that uh, uh, your brake light is on and uh, you have uh, more than 60 PSI that means your uh, brake sensor is bad the air sensor is bad so now you can see that the air pressure is building up And uh, at the same time, there's no air coming from there anymore. So it's all 
good all right guys so that's all for today i hope this solves your problem please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and let me know how much it costs you also subscribe the channel like the video share with your friends and stay tuned for a truck parking business uh, how to establish a trucking business and also how to invest into the real estate related to the trucking and i will share all my knowledge and experience and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you